Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows cannot verify the digital signature for this file. And that's followed by the 0xc0000428 error. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin this tutorial off by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time and you want to type in CMD. Best match should take command prompt right above desktop app. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt you want to left click on yes. Okay so now in this elevate command line window you want to type in BCD edit all one word so again BCD edit. Then you want to enter on your keyboard one time now you want to type in bcd edit space minus sign set and then you want to do another space so again bcd edit space minus sign set now whatever's underneath identifier or I should say right across from it underneath a windows bootloader you want to highlight over it so including the end brackets you don't want to highlight any extra stuff just the brackets and whatever's in here so once you've done that just right click on it one time now you want to go up to the top bar of this window, right click on it, left click at it, and then left click on paste. Just make sure you have that space in here and you can always just backspace and delete and redo it again if you had to. So you might very likely have a bunch of letters and numbers in here. In my case it just says current. Don't be concerned. It doesn't have to say what I have on my screen. So once you have that you want to do another space and then type in no integrity checks and this is all one word so no integrity checks after the I got the end brackets no integrity checks all one word it's very important then you want to do another space and then type the number one so just one after that so again just another space after no integrity checks then type the number one and you want to hit enter should say the operation completed successfully at this point it would suggest restarting your computer Hopefully you won't have any issues getting into the operating system you're trying to boot into through the Windows Boot Manager. This should apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 devices, so pretty versatile. And I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.